Hey y'all, Indy here from the Conscious Club Podcast, the number one podcast on Wolfpack. This week, Tori and I go through Wolfpack live at MSG 2019. And I say 2019 because I'll probably do it again next year with their track record. Am I right? <laughs> anyway, uh, we, uh, you know, it's a huge milestone for this band. And what better way to celebrate it than to look through all the live streams, the memes, the posts, the fan interactions, the the, the sound check, the, the, the IG stories. It's all happening this week, not to mention a special guest later on in the show. So, t- uh, so, uh, so stay tuned for the Conscious Club Podcast. Off a high here on uh, on uh, the Country Club podcast. <laughs> last coming night coming off a high here. That's correct. last night was uh, MSG, oh which boy. we caught um, um, good good portions of thanks right. to Antoine Stanley's mom, Khadija. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Khadija Stanley's mom's live stream of the show. If, um, if you were fantastic. one of the thirty people who did it, it was the, the probably the best narration of anything I've ever seen. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, Wolf. Oh, you go get it, boy. <laughs> you play that bass, Joe. You play that bass. Mm-hmm. That's my baby. That's my <laughs> baby. I loved, loved, loved it. Yeah, Khadija was the best. Yeah. Um, so we're started off here with um, a, a video from Joey's page. And um, he shared this really cool video of during um, Birds of a Feather, which is what they closed with, right? Uh, they closed with IGF, but it was the second to last song. Okay, this is the second to last song that they did. They asked for everyone to turn on their flashlights on their phone. And then everyone the whole place. did this. And it was so beautiful. And Antoine's mom was like freaking out. She was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing ever. This is so <laughs> cool. She was just on a high the whole time. Like she was just so yeah. excited. She kept mentioning how like... They all started in Michigan, like in Ann Arbor, and they came this far, and it's yeah. really cool. Um, <sighs> so that's yeah. great. Joey, that's, we're, we're straight this. coming off a high here. Yeah, that's coming great. off a high. So last but, night we watched a lot of it, and it was really, really great. Yeah. And um, so for yes, our the intro, intro today, yes, um, we are the IRS of the Wolf Pack. We are here to uh, audit. We are and, here to audit. Uh, we're here to audit. We're here to throw shade where shade is due. due. We're here to praise where praise is deserved. Mm-hmm. Um, we are treasurers of talent. We are. We are curators of controversy. We are. We are creators of content. We are. We are purveyors of podcasting. It's TCC. Exactly. P. And we like to uh, mention that we are not experts on Wolf Pack, and we aren't here to tell you what is right or what is necessarily wrong, because we're wrong all the time here. Most of the um, time. And we will bring up when you know we have made a mistake or said something wrong. For example, we said that Chris... Uh, Thiele's name was like wrong for like three episodes. Three, yeah, pr- yeah. It's it was like a trilogy of how wrong <laughs> we were. <laughs> yeah, and he was actually Eli? at the sh- at the show last night, so mm-hmm. we'll talk about that today. Um, and we are simply lovers of Wolf Pack and uh, the Wolf Pack and Wolf everything. Pack and the pack, yes. All the ancillary members of Wolfpack, and that's why we made this podcast. Yeah. And um, we are an interactive podcast, so that means that um, if there's anything that you want us to talk about or you want to send us a meme that you made or um, ask us a question or have us make an episode on something, you can email us at... TCCP direct at gmail.com. TCCP direct. Just like Flyers direct, TCCP Mm -hmm. direct at gmail.com. Yeah, send us... Basically, you know, if you have... uh, any shade to throw at the pack mm-hmm. at, at people or if you want us to learn um, certain things about Wolfpack, we are here to mm-hmm. dive into it. Um, we've designated ourselves as the purveyors of podcasting mm-hmm. when it comes to Wolfpack. So uh, we love you. Welcome to the show. If you haven't listened before, um, you know, it's a show about Wolfpack. You already know about that. So uh, this week it's MSG and we're going to dive deep into the show. Also, we have a surprise, surprise for you. Uh, a little bit farther in the show where we meet 
one of our most beloved, <laughs> beloved fans. Uh, that is to come. So stay yeah. tuned for that. Mm-hmm. So we like to start off um, our podcast with a quote by a musician or something that's music related. So today we have a quote by Duke Ellington. And it is, uh, the wise musicians are those who play what they can master. Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington. That's a, it's, it's like the, the, uh, it's prose. It's, it's, it's as if his prose or his, his wisdom Mm -hmm. was equivalent to his hairstyle. Like it's great. (laughs) It's shiny. Mm -hmm. It's clean. It's laid. It's laid. Uh, laid back, but still professional, you know, improvised. Mm. Uh, the wise musicians are those who play what they can master. <laughs> and I think that that goes along uh, with the this podcast, this mm-hmm. uh, the topics that we're talking about today about MSG. You know, I would think that every musician in Wolfpack is wise because they've basically mastered, even though they're they're humble in the fact that they could, I would assume they would always think that they could be better at something. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but in terms of their mastery, it's yeah, it's it's up there. Mm-hmm. It's up there. Um, but wise words from uh, wise words our man from, Duke Ellington, uh, a king of uh, jazz. So. Yes, sir. Yes, That's great. So we're going to kind of go in a chronological order today from um, pre-MSG uh, hijinks here and pre-show hype all the way up into <laughs> um, comments and reflections from the pack about the MSG show. So things from post-show. So um, we're going to start off today with a little bit of MSG hype here. Um, We had people freaking out because Mr. Charles Jones um, was said to be um, performing with Wolfpack, which is really cool because he um, he hasn't. Has he ever done a live show, you think, with Wolfpack? Yeah, he has. Okay, cool. um, When I I went to the first Red Rocks headlining, I think it was Mm -hmm. 2018, um, and he played Game Winner. So that was really cool. That's cool. But I think that was his last okay. his last uh, mm-hmm. feat with, yeah. with Wolfpack. And I think definitely it, you know, it it deserves a little bit of Charles Jones. You yeah, know, he has an amazing voice and he did a great job last night. And I do have some clips of that that we'll be watching in the show today. So this is really sweet. This is from his um, Instagram and this is him just basically... <laughs> Um, shouting out his mom who un- unfortunately passed away and it was unable to uh, watch him play here but he was kind of just reflecting like while he was walking the streets of New York that like his mom's watching over him and uh, he's doing this all for her and he hopes that she's proud of him and so yeah. that was really sweet how could you not be yeah. um, that's great yeah and then um, I also wanted to show just some uh, little, uh, <laughs> some things for the, before the show here. Um, somebody shared them at Madison Square Garden. They say, my body is ready mm-hmm. for uh, the full for tech the show. For uh, these the are really cu- cool, which weirdly enough, I haven't seen any photos of people with this merch yet. Right. This might come out later, but um, I said that there was 150 of these bad boys made. <laughs> um, so I haven't seen anyone share photos of these yet, but I'm really excited to see that right. if anyone shares that on the pack. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll go th- I'll go through a last minute dive in the edit and pull some up on screen if I can find any. But mm-hmm. yeah, as of recording this podcast, it's it's more about the show than mm-hmm. anything else which i think it's that you know it says something mm-hmm. you know it says something and we'll talk about more about the merch and what people have found and how apparently uh, all the merch did sell out that night right so that's cool and we'll talk about that in the show today but then this is somebody's outfit that they prepared for the show which is really cute I love Julianne. this love this shirt produce kind of girl she actually made this shirt <laughs> she said in the comments um with like iron on stickers yeah because all the girls were like, oh, my God, I need this. So, yeah, this That's is a great. really cute shirt that she made. Great job, uh, pack member Julianne. <laughs> um, and now I want to get into pre-show um, Instagram finds from the boys and also uh, th- uh, images that people shared before the show. Like a lot of people ran into Corey and stuff like that. So right. this is from Corey's uh, Insta. This is adorable. Him posing with the <laughs> sign. There's a lot of people posing with the sign that we'll see. So this is uh, him prepped and ready. And then we have Joey 
and he <laughs> he is so adorable we'll watch his actual insta story here but in a little bit but he says they fucked up letting me in here <laughs> and he was really so did. in his element because this is basketball mm -hmm. nation basketball territory and he was just that's where he the was Knicks play, feeling right? it you know, I know nothing about basketball. I know nothing about... I know even probably less about basketball. So. I know nothing about basketball, but... Um, would, some New York basketball team plays there. He did say that LeBron did play there at one time, so that was cool for him. That's cool. Awesome. Um, and then we will watch this story in a little <laughs> bit, but this is just a cute screenshot. Corey, it's the only, it's only the second Fearless Flyers gig, so we're rehearsing the green room. <laughs> this is them, and we'll watch the video in a little bit. Yeah. But it's just, it's just really cute. Now, now, how, how prolific? Oh my god, is that be? our carpet? Again? Uh, it, it's a larger it's version carpet of the carpet the that one we have in the entering front. our apartment. Yeah, that's funny. Um, but how, how prolific is that? Where the, I know it, it's all, but it's all from Jack's design and everything. That like he could have picked any opener. <laughs> it could have been just mushy. You yeah. know what I mean at MSG, but like for your second gig to be MSG, I know as, it's pretty legit. As like a non like it's not Wolfpack, it's yeah, not yeah, it's yeah. not the the flagship. So legit for that to be your second show, you guys better practice in the green room because I know that's uh, it, not 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 that you're not good enough. I'm yeah, sure you guys good enough, but you know <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure these musicians you know, see the value in uh, what. Uh, what they had to bring to the table that night. Yeah, and that's it's pretty nice. impressive because from what I could see, they did have a rehearsal soundtrack before, but that's basically all the prep that they had other than this green room practice for Fearless. Um, I'm sure they did the rehearsal soundtrack for Fearless too, but like it's pretty impressive like how well that show came together for the small right. amount of uh, prep everyone had together. Right, and like, you know, a soundtrack, you don't necessarily, it's not necessarily practice no, time. It's, yeah. it's like play 30 seconds of a song exactly, so that we can get the levels and then and like transitions and, then get and stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, super cool that, uh, you know, they're just bringing it. And also it's like, uh, you know, like Wolfpack is, er, er, and um, you know, the Fearless Flyers. It's similar to Wolfpack in that it um, it's a super group. It's mm -hmm. people who don't live in the same state, don't live near each other, mm -hmm. and and come together once a year to make an album about. It's it's basically the the Wolf scaffolding, mm -hmm. but in a different way. Uh, with more precision and, and all that kind of stuff. So right. interesting, interesting uh, parallels yeah. between the two. Yeah. And Corey again. And then we have the Cosman uh, coming in with that high Cosman. resolution photo. And the, the tag he put was infiltrator smiley face. <laughs> Infiltrating at MSG. It. I got to say, though, that set is so, so, cool. so like the it's like the game winner of sets mm -hmm. for for it's, it's, essentially what i mean is like it couldn't this set couldn't be more wolf you know Perfect. what i mean like i'm i'm sure you could change things here and there where you know like i'm sure the circle could be squashed two degrees maybe mm -hmm. perhaps but interesting how that they brought the basement to the show mm -hmm. just like they bring products to market yeah you know what i mean like it's i'm sure that that hollywood production designer that they that they mentioned helped with the set design mm -hmm. was like you know going through all their videos going through what makes them them and they go why don't we just do this like it's mm -hmm. it's where you guys started it's where you guys have been since and it's your bread and butter um and it's all about that uh that basement funk because you know it's if it, it, like this stage feels like I went into a basement, mm -hmm. but it just happens to be a 15,000, 20,000 seat room. <laughs> yeah. 100%. You know? I love the like old basement homey carpets that they had. And right. then this old chair that's like <laughs> from somebody's mom's house. And yeah. then it was just great. And then they have the jackets. They have a Michigan, uh, a Michigan um, hoodie. And then they oh, have cool. a jean jacket, which is like a nod to early Jack. You can spot that Michigan hoodie a yeah. mile away. A thousand percent. Up there. Yeah. A thousand percent. Okay. So now we're getting into run-ins here, which is really Band cute. run-ins. Yeah. So we have pack member Samuel. He ran into Corey Wong before he went on. That's cool. Um, awesome. So that's really cool. And then this was really cute. This guy, uh, pack member Ryan, ran into Jack's parents. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, this is the same guy that did the Rick and Morty meme. Yeah. This is the same this guy. Is this him. is great. This comes full circle. Um, 
Also, I want to mention here with, with Jack's parents, how how much does Jack's dad's face just show <clears throat> who Jack is? You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. It's like it's like the 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 slight smirk, the uh, the the jawbone. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 and, and the 100%. the sticky shoes. You know, you got that, that like shoes. the kid in school who wasn't popular. That mm-hmm. shoes, you know, the New Balance or the uh, yeah, the man. the Airwalk or whatever. <laughs> like I love that uh, that thing that uh, that that little uh, accent because mm-hmm. you know it it really makes Jack who Jack is. Seeing his uh, yep. his parents yeah. comfortable, prepped, and ready for the funk. These guys, mm. and it was really cute. Ryan asked um, Papa Stratton's favorite song, and he said "Smile Meditation." Mm. Confirmed. 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 Um, and then this is cute. We have Danny here. Um, so somebody <laughs> said on the pack before the show for inquiring minds, it looks like yes, they're filming for tonight. And Danny yes. posted a meme. So we're really excited because hopefully that should be coming soon. Yeah, we saw Ryan Lerman with the iPhone gimbal mm-hmm. uh, filming the show. It's it's super cool how like even though you're doing such a big show like that, they're still doing the iPhone gimbal mm-hmm. or the it's not like a red camera, right? They don't need that, you know. Right. They're just like as long as the the iPhone got space, like <laughs> we'll do the whole two, like we'll we'll do yeah. the whole hour and a half show. <laughs> Jack wipes his iPhone fully for the show. And I and I wonder if this is is something that Jack learned from Corey because in past episodes we've we've covered the topics of of Corey learning from Jack mm-hmm. in that uh, live from Minneapolis mm-hmm. uh uh live album that was filmed on stage two. It was on the iPhone gimbal and it was just a guy on stage running around the whole show. It looked great. And it looked, it looked incredible because it was, it was in that, in the vein of, of Wolf. Yeah. Um, and I think that it was something that Corey learned from Jack in terms of the aesthetic and how to mm-hmm. shoot something. And then Jack, Jack taking from Corey in that now it's, now he's doing the live, yeah. the live one take. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Love that. That's great. Um, and then this we love Danny Woods gif. And then before we get too far into more pre-show hijinks, I just want to go look at the boys' stories. Oh yeah. Great. So we have Chris Jones here. This is his uh story. Um Ooh. Pre-show here. The calm before the storm. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm with Joey. And I'm Ricardo. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I can see everybody today. Oh, oh, they, oh, hey. Hey. You see the house, y'all? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> we're here in the garden, man. <laughs> Corey Wong, we're here. <laughs> he thought it was a photo. <laughs> <laughs> They're having right. so much fun. So much fun. We have Joe getting set up here. With Corey. I just want to say something. This is my brother right here. I love this dude. Oh, whatever. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) This is great. I love all their stuff because, like, they can't even believe it. You know? Oh, my gosh. He's waiting to go on stage here. That's so cool, man. Now we're going to go into Corey's story here. Mm. Sorry, this is me having no, to go back okay. in the, the thing. All right, so practicing uh, for uh, Fearless Flyers. Uh. As... Uh. This is just, so it's, it's, it's something special, you know, it's so cool. Oh, I love the lingering, the ho- the, co- the, ho- the color. So good. I love Corey's reaction after. <laughs> I feel it too, Core. I feel it too. Love Corey. Wow, that is so cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got a Fender artist takeover. Yeah. That's cool. This is him prepping. 
the yeah. soundtrack. Real hard to keep that dry sound in there, huh? God, that Jumbotron, too. Him standing in front of a Jumbotron <laughs> is so funny. Like they, they should have turned that on and put his like video up there. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Corey's just the man. All right. He's the man. And then, uh, then we just have Joey, and then we'll get into the other one later. Cool. Um, this is Joey's pre-show. So I had the to go flyers. back again to go because oh, we'd already right. looked at him. <laughs> And His boomerang. They messed up letting me in here. Ooh. Standing in the place where Michael Jordan dunked on Patrick Ewing and then farted in his face. <laughs> I'm standing in the place where Reggie Miller hit his second three-pointer, scoring eight points in nine seconds. I love the this. And farted in Spike Lee's face. <laughs> Spike Lee's face. I love how serious he is about basketball. It's so so great. serious. It's so guy. funny. God, he's he's just a wonder. Everybody in this band is so good at what they do mm -hmm. and is so them inherently. Like they're not trying to be anybody else or any mm -hmm. anyone. I love it. So cute. Great. So yeah, that's uh, Corey's stuff. Awesome. Well, th thanks for going through their stories and grabbing all that content. Uh -huh. It's it's really great. Like. Uh, uh, appetizer for what's about to come. <laughs> and all right. So we had some uh, more pre-show hijinks here. Um, we had a uh, pack member John say, can somebody explain what is up with the phone lights in the audience? Mm. And then James says, shout out to the cell phone flashlight square choreography crew. Pre fearless flyers. <laughs> yeah. We see you stage left seated corner. So let's take a there look here. Go. Let's take a look here. Oh, they did. They were doing this pre-show. How? Somebody. How, how did anybody choreograph that? So there's a guy here. We'll go into what happened here. Oh, okay. So this is the comments on the post, and John says the square, and then another <laughs> another John says praise the square. Graham <laughs> says the square will always be remembered. Jacob says long live the square. <laughs> Philip says square up. Alex says you have to summon the wolf or they won't play. And then Joshua tagged the guy who started the square choreography, and his name is Penn. And he said, Penn started oh, the lights. Okay. So just one guy started doing it. And then everyone really? started copying each other. And it spread through like the whole auditorium before Dude, the Fearless so Flyer cool. thing. Because, uh, you know, like sometimes you get to be the, uh, the lucky person to start a clap at mm -hmm. a concert where you're like, <laughs> uh, everybody starts yeah. going. Or like, uh, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, and yeah. Some yeah. people start going and doing it, but having done that, that's a very detailed thing. That I think that speaks more to the to the uh, to the audience of Wolfpack than anything else. Mm -hmm. That they're keen to know, right? uh, to interesting things. Yeah. Here's another video. Of, hold on a sec. Of what happened here? <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. And then watch when it pans over. You'll see all the people doing it. Yeah, That's so great. that was pretty cute. Um, awesome. Yeah, and then there was all of these line memes before <laughs> the show. The Trump, the Trump inaugural picture. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, for some reason, all these line memes started happening, and Dean says MSG line isn't quite as big as expected, <laughs> and it's, it's the Trump, Trump inauguration. <laughs> and somebody took the time to edit this 1920s like depression photo for line for Wolfpack. I will that is four so 16 for tickets for 12 yeah yeah, yeah. and what does it say uh donators invited help feed the band <laughs> i will need i will need for msg <laughs> oh this is great this is incredible and then somebody said look at that line oh shit dude and then somebody the pilgrimage yeah and then somebody added all these pigeons <laughs> uh, the line is crazy right now with all yeah. these, these birds birds of a feather flock together man Heck yeah. And so that leads us to the show of the Fearless Flyers. So pretty exciting. Shall we uh, Shall we hear some Fearless Flyers before we call our, uh, our special guest today? Yeah, we should. All right. So um, Anthony on the pack said, Fearless Flyers, 100 out of 10 performance. 
Um, do you mind? Sure. And uh, that takes us into the uh, fearless clips here. Um, here is some behind the scenes fearless. Here, I'll start this over. That sounds almost new. I know. Never heard this. Oh, it's a cover. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, no, it's a fearless song. I think it's just a different solo. Mm -hmm. Is there a caption? Maybe scroll down a little bit? No. Oh. Uh, Gosh, that is so good. Oh, wow. So yeah, good. We have another one here. And they covered up their set with the black thing for the. Ah, uh, yeah. To try to. Yeah. Not show it as much. Yeah. They've never been in the basement. They've only been in the uh, in, in the Ryan Scare Pocket Lerman studio. studio. Yeah, Ryan Lerman studio. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Nate Smith, coming in hard. Oh, this is so good. It's interesting to hear them in a, in a less controlled environment, because like. The Fearless Flyers are just that. Like, they're super, they're super precise. They're super uh, everything. Um, and just, it's super cool just to see all of, all of these, these things happening, culminating at once, mm -hmm. you know? 100%. So, anyway, this brings us to the special part of our show. We are going to meet our biggest fan our so biggest far. Fan. Um, Danny, Danny Wood. Wood. Danny Wood. Uh, we have scheduled a Google Hangout with Danny Wood. <laughs> so we're going to talk to him for a few minutes and let's see. Let's see how it goes here. Let's see. Let's let's drop into the Google Hangout and uh, talk to our friend Danny Wood, huh? Danny Wood. Danny Wood. Is he going to see us on this video camera? Yeah, he should. <gasps> he should. <laughs> Do we have Danny? Hey. Danny oh my Wood. gosh! Hey. Danny! <laughs> How's it going, man? Can you see me? Uh, we Hold cannot on. see hear you. you. We can hear you. We cannot see you, though. Hold on. Hold on. That's okay. You have to click that little camera button, I think. We've we've <laughs> hit farther on the rocks than this before, so. Oh! Hey. He has his red rock The red rock shirt. Rock shirt. Oh. Great. <laughs> okay. I think this is going to work. <laughs> no, it, dude, you got a mic and everything. You're all set Look at up. Him, prepped and prime. Yeah, you, I had another microphone, but I don't. I left my uh, <laughs> the thing that holds like a condenser mic. Oh yeah, yeah. The little work. the little so mic just, cradle or whatever it is. I'm gonna do a handheld. Uh, <laughs> S totally fine. SM58 totally fine. Fifty-eight today. Well, thank you so much for for taking the time to meet us. I know you have kids and you have a lot of things going on. Um, so, and we don't have any of that. So, <laughs> we really appreciate you jumping on. Dude, it's my pleasure. I'm excited to to chat with you guys. I've been devouring the TCCP for the past. <laughs> I don't know. Has it been like a has it been a month? I don't know. Yeah, a few weeks. Yeah. I've been. Uh, yeah. Good. I'm, I'm always wondering, how did you find out about us? Was it the Instagram or? Yeah, totally. And I'm realizing I should have WD-40 this chair before <laughs> um, I talked to you guys today. But um, yeah, it was on Instagram. You like commented on my Casey Frey mashup. Oh, right. Yeah. And that was that was when, you know, I hadn't. I hadn't heard of you guys until then. So once I saw <laughs> you commented and then I clicked on your profile and I'm like, it's called the conscious club podcast. Like, why am I not listening to this? You know? So, That's so yeah, then cool. I just, then I just went to your Instagram profile, you know, and saw the YouTube link. So I've been watching them on YouTube. <laughs> um, I haven't been doing the audio I, for me. I think 
you get the full experience when you do the YouTube, right? Yeah, like I, I couldn't Definitely. imagine just like listening to you guys and maybe there are people that are doing that and kudos to them. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, when we first, when we first started it, it was, you know, we, it was, it's a show mostly it's more than a podcast but like i definitely wanted to have the audio aspect of it just in case uh um, for sure and you know it makes it more of official makes it more of a it's a, it's a yeah. podcast i mean it yeah. <laughs> it is a podcast right yeah yeah cool so but how can you see like wolf style and stuff if you i mean if you're not like watching it exactly. right exactly so, right. yeah talking <laughs> yeah it's it's it, it's futile at, at, at sometimes yeah. on the audio portion yeah because yeah. we're talking about video but <laughs> and pictures <laughs> but yeah but welcome welcome to the show we're we are we are we are in zone two we're doing it <laughs> we are we have our biggest fan on the show and um we we love that you took some time to talk with us now we are we have just gone about a half hour in we've been going through the pre msg um uh posts on the pack all the the instagrams of, of joey and and charles jones and all the fun stuff we we are we after we're called we're gonna dive into the real show and everything but mm -hmm. we wanted to get your thoughts on what, what was happening yesterday yeah i mean i was gonna be there first oh. of all so that was like my number one thought is like oh man i had bought tickets to go to new york um i went to red rocks right this oh, year oh hell yeah um and that was an awesome experience and then i kind of i think You've probably seen the meme, right? Where it's like this kid jumping over like five stairs on, or steps <laughs> yes. on a stair. Yeah, where, yeah like, we covered you just, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just skip right to buying the tickets, not really having figured out everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and usually stuff will work out. But this particular instance, unfortunately, there were some, you know, extenuating circumstances. Mm -hmm. My car broke down. I had to pay 500 bucks to get that fixed. Yeah. Um, and there were some other, you know, monetary things that I basically like I could have put everything on the credit card and still gone. But <laughs> um, I just thought it would be wise financially to not yeah. uh, <laughs> go into debt, you know, yeah. right yeah. now. Because I, I you're right. I have two kids and I'm trying to provide for a family and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The real... priority list comes uh, funk comes uh, comes <laughs> probably third or fourth on that list. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> It's still up there though, but man, yeah. I, yeah, so I was, I was kind of bummed that I, you know, was missing out, but at the same time, like I was just super grateful for the people in the pack that were live streaming. Same. Yeah. I, same. I feel like I, you know, got like the first half of the concert. Right. Yeah. Kind of yeah. jump, jump in live streams. I mean, there, were, I wish I would have got in on Antoine's mom. I oh, didn't realize it was she so was so good. It she was, was streaming that. It was incredible that. narration. Like, like yeah, I've like never I, heard such good narration. It's great. I hope that's like, I'll go back and watch that if it's, a, it's somehow available. If, if I don't know if you guys have the link or whatever. But, I think we liked it. So it's probably in our activity. Yeah. You could probably find that for you. Yeah. But yeah, so I was just watching it, kind of jumping from live stream to live stream as they stopped. And uh, one guy, I should pull up his name to like give him credit, but... He he had it going for at least you know twenty thirty minutes, mm -hmm. um, yeah. so that was that was a good one. And you could hear I don't know if it was the girl that was like just happened to be next to him. I I would imagine she like went to the concert with him, but she kept saying like, "Dude, that's gonna kill your battery." And oh, like I everybody in the comments, one. we saw that too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the comments is like, "Shut up, no, don't tell him to stop, keep it going." <laughs> right. so, yeah, it's, it's she funny. was really concerned about his battery life, like yeah. the whole time, like the whole show. Well, in New York, yeah. like your phone battery is mandatory. True, because you need to figure out the train schedule and like right. figure out what train to take. Last so time I was there, my phone died when I needed to get somewhere, and I was like three. <laughs> train stops away from where i needed to be and it was hell it was it was really hell yeah. not having your phone so, but she but had it's her phone so it's like why do you care you right. have your life no i think it's i think it's it, it's it's also like there's two types of people people who hate people who film at concerts and then people who film at concerts but i think yeah. the people who film at concerts outnumber the people who hate people who yeah. film at concerts so i think yeah. it's like don't you want to just enjoy this too meanwhile also your battery would be saved you know i totally I fall on both sides of the spectrum, but if it's Wolf and you're, you know, you're contributing to the live stream, I'm all for it. Keep it up. But mm -hmm. I'm yeah. also like be present too, you know. So Yeah. Right. I'm on the I'm fence kind of there. In, I'm kind of in the middle as well. Like yeah. I like to 
film some at at the mm -hmm. concerts I go to. Like I did at Red Rocks. In fact, you guys used some of my footage in a previous TCCP oh my gosh. episode when you were covering uh, Red Rocks, and I was like, you know, it's stuff like that that I'm. That's why I like to film, right. is so that other people other people can enjoy it or experience even if it's just a little bit i mean obviously you're right. not going to get the full experience and if you're there um and right. i love going to concerts it's not like i just feed off of watching live streams and getting free <laughs> free funk or whatever but like i'm freak i'm freaking buying all the t-shirts all the vinyls like mm -hmm. wolfpack I don't know how much money I've spent on Wolfpack, so I don't I don't feel bad at all, you know, especially having bought a ticket to to the MSG concert. Right. But I mean, I was able to to sell it to another pack member uh, for just at cost, so I didn't. Great. I mean, I paid for some like insurance or something through Ticketmaster, mm -hmm. and I lost that, but whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. It was good to just get it get it to another pack member, and they enjoyed the concert, and yeah, so it, nice. it was awesome. I, experiencing the live stream, like I was getting the music chills and mm -hmm. um you yeah. know at different parts of the songs and then cause gets up there with his like little mini saxophone so good <laughs> and that's like probably my top i don't know if i can like rate wolf songs but smile meditation is like up there for me and so seeing Definitely. a live a live interpretation with that song is just like it gets me every time you know yeah 100 so. percent. great awesome where where are you uh where are you where do you live? Where are you located? I live in Utah in a oh, okay. in a city called Eagle Mountain. It's kind of like nice. forty minutes south of, of Salt Lake City. Mm. Okay. And so yeah, Red Rocks is is the closest proximity that, you know, Wolfpack has ever come. <laughs> right. Or or Corey Wong or any of those guys. So oh, I'm just wow. kinda stuck there. You, a lot of times we'll get, you know, plenty of big and smaller acts here in utah and salt lake that seems to be a you know mm -hmm. place where a lot of bands come but not vault tech yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's kind of a bummer but at the same time like that's why i made such an effort earlier this year to go to red rocks in mm -hmm. may right. and it was kind of like my it was my first vault Peck concert and experience and it was kind of like a pilgrimage you know for me right but, yeah because i i had gone to the 2018 um red rocks i flew out from here from la i i did the pilgrimage it was my first wolf wolf mm -hmm. show too uh i mean i had seen joey dosick in la and other things like that but never like the full the full sh the, the full shtick so to speak yeah <laughs> and yeah, yeah it, it was it was it's it's just a great community of people and like i of all the of all the fan bases of basically any band i listen to it's it seems like they're the most wholesome. They're the most like, um, they're also all, mostly musicians, which yeah. is interesting too, because everybody's speaking the same language and everybody's like trying to learn more about what every, everybody's trying to do. And it's funny, like, like what you were saying in the comment section, like you're a blue collar musician too, just like me. Like we didn't go to music school. We didn't learn, you know, notation and modes and, and all these mm -hmm. things, you know, just basic scales, basic chords here and there. And then just, and just applying it to where we want to go or what we want to play. And it's great that we all can be together too, because like the crux of this podcast too is isn't that we're experts. It's like we just want to know more about what the hell Jack is putting in front of us, <laughs> and it's sometimes it's it's often really hard to de decipher because he's just uh, prolific. You know, he yeah. he puts so much effort into everything that he puts in front of us that you know for for years. Animal Spirits, I just took as a name of a song. I didn't even know it was a Keynesian economics term. And look, it's it's like it's hidden in plain sight, you know, just as that as an mm -hmm. example. So it's like the fact that they're even they're it's not just the music that's great. It's that they bring so much more to the table that I'm willing to pay for a flight. I'm willing to go to another state and stay with my cousin in her basement. And you know, like and it's it's just super cool that we can all come together and even though like and you know, when we first put this made this show live, we were we were kind of we were not necessarily scared, but fearful that that it, we were tone deaf in terms of what we were talking about. Um, tone deaf a little bit of a uh, music <laughs> humor there, <laughs> but, um, but I'm super glad that you came in and kind of encouraged us to keep going. Um, and that, 
you know, like also keeping us accountable when, you know, we either misspeak or that we overgeneralize with certain things. <laughs> it really helps because I think I think that brings a more likable factor to the show and mm-hmm. that, you know, we don't call ourselves experts and, you know, like we're the harbor of all the truth. And it's like, <laughs> it's not, we're just trying to learn along with y'all. So. Right. Was, well, yeah. I think it, I think it's awesome. And in fact, there's, you know, there have been times where I'm driving on my way to work or I'm at work watching the podcast and I'm <laughs> start just talking to my phone or to <laughs> my computer screen I was yeah. like, no, 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 no. Who, who you're thinking of is Mark Ribele or whatever his name is, you know? Right, yeah. So like, there are times where, and that's usually what I when I comment. But there, Love there it. have been multiple times and things that I've learned from you guys. Oh, that's good. The Wolf trivia, you know, I didn't know the answers to all those, you know, questions you guys were ask, asking, and then the whole animal spirits thing too. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize that. So I'm like, that's kind of one of the reasons I love watching the podcast mm. is. You know, it is, it's interactive because of the YouTube thing, but I'm, I'm learning and I'm just so unhealthily obsessed with Wolfpack that, you know, I can't get enough of like every, everything, you know, so, um, this is just another avenue to, to feed that (laughs) uh, obsession or whatever. But yeah, yeah, I, I find myself kind of in, I don't know if it's a addictive personality or, or what, but like when I when there's something I'm into, like I'm freaking into it, you He's know. The same. Same way. I'm the exact same way. Wolfpack yeah. is is that, and all the ancillary, you know, stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then my other big one right now is, uh, well, has been for years, is Star Wars. So like I'm just the yeah, biggest yeah. freaking yeah. Star Wars geek. But um, yeah, so I'm grateful for a wife that like supports me in in those <laughs> things. She's. She's not as hardcore like in those in Star Wars and, you know, Wolfpack, but I mean, she loves Harry Potter and Mm -hmm. yeah, we just, um, she appreciates it and it's not like she thinks I'm this weird guy because I'm so (laughs) obsessed with this stuff, but no, yeah, yeah. same. Yeah. I'm I'm (laughs) actually super thankful Tori is, is as into it as I am because this would be torture for her, for me to just be talking (laughs) to myself with no yeah. co-host about this kind of stuff and be like there he is doing the Wolfpack thing again yeah so yeah. and i have well, an I... unhealthy obsession with disney so like he puts up with that like i have a disney tattoo here yeah. <laughs> and like i'm an artist so i'm obsessed with disney and everything disney and he puts up with that so it's like it's disney yeah it's nothing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> um also to round this out i don't want to take too much of your time uh, i was wondering what do you wish we did on the show that we don't do if you have anything because we're always trying to learn we're always trying to get better if there's something maybe a segment that would uh that could you know grow over time or something we we would love even to have you on on uh future podcasts as well what do you think that we should uh we should dive into more yeah have the danny wood segment that's what you should (laughs) hell yeah well we will we will no um i I mean, that would be awesome, but um, I'm just trying to think cause, uh, um, because I feel like I've gotten to know you two mm-hmm. a lot in the past month because I've just been watching all the podcasts. Mm-hmm. And I'm, al- I'm almost caught up. I'm like two episodes away from having watched, you know, all the the episodes, but... We appreciate I love all it. the different. I love all the, the different segments that you guys are doing, the Wolf style and <laughs> the Funny Funk, of course. That's oh, probably my yeah. favorite favorite bit (laughs) for sure which makes sense because that's kind of like what i do in the wolf sphere or whatever i just right um make stupid mashups and you know hopefully get a smile out of someone who sees it you know yeah but i don't i'm I'm trying to think if there's something else that you guys could do but yeah nothing's coming to my mind other than keep going with what you're doing because there's plenty of variety uh, in the different segments that you guys are doing and just right. yeah there's so much stuff happening in the pack on a weekly basis Always. so I, i'm kind of surprised that this hasn't you know like you've talked about this hasn't been done prior to you guys doing it you know <laughs> i like, know there's, right. there's a lot going on so i applaud you two for making it happen and i just want to thank you for the like your efforts because i I love editing and recording mm-hmm. and doing all this stuff. And so I don't know if 
other people when they watch your your podcast on youtube can recognize like how much effort and time oh, you put sure. into that like that was from day one when i first saw your the first episode i was like these guys are freaking you know putting some effort into this and i'm <laughs> mad respect for that so well, keep, great keep going with that so i don't, I don't know i'll have to Thank think you. about it if i can no, think no, of that's a, totally fine another... like i didn't mean to put you on the spot but definitely like we so appreciate you because without mm-hmm. you we would re- we really would go we'd be going like who the hell's even watching this <laughs> why are we even putting all this time because it's it's hours and hours a week and not, not to complain or anything but it's definitely no. like we you know for the time you put into something it, it's nice to get uh some sort of feedback you know feedback um about what we're doing so you know thank you so much for for what you do um i'm sure you know i'll dm you for some some more thoughts on where we could take the show with you know including you in there um and yeah well danny thank you so much for taking the time Uh, we appreciate you so much and (laughs) um you know we never expected to have such a nice guy love our show well i that means a lot i appreciate it (laughs) (laughs) thanks thanks for having me on and yeah i'd love to you know come on and just i could talk hours and hours about (laughs) wolf stuff so cool yeah and if you're ever in la we'll definitely get you in on person in person if you ever uh, forage out here into the valley so (laughs) that would be fun i'm making i think i'm gonna be going to disneyland next year but um that's that's kind of LA, isn't it? Is that it's like yeah. an hour away. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know, but I'll have my family with me and stuff. So I don't, maybe we can make it work, but maybe not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, Are you we'll gonna go to Star out. Wars Land? You know it. Heck yeah! yeah. <laughs> I haven't been yeah, yet, but I've, I'm excited I've, to see it eventually. Yeah, I've got a five year old and a t- uh, well, eighteen month old. But the five year old <laughs> is like a mini me, and he's <laughs> you know obsessed with Star Wars. Yeah. And, uh, and Wolf actually like Smile Meditation is his favorite song Aww. as well. I That's wonder so why, cool. but That's awesome. Yeah. So he he'll he'll ask me sometimes like Daddy play the the wah 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 wah, wah song you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. That's so cute. Yeah, That's I know exactly what he's talking about because yeah. Smile Meditation, man. That's so. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. Anyways. Well, thank you so much, Danny. We really yeah. appreciate you. Um. And yeah, that was uh, this is Danny Wood. This is our special segment for Conscious Club Twenty Six. <laughs> okay, excited to see this the the official podcast when it rolls out on Monday, right? Tomorrow, yes, sir. Nine a.m. tomorrow. Yep. yep. Okay, I'm gonna All be, right, you guys I'm gonna be awesome. working hard on the details. We're getting we're getting <laughs> we're gonna get it out as soon as possible. <laughs> All right. All right. Have a good one, man. Thank you. All right. Peace out. All right. Bye. See you. Bye. Danny right, Wood. Danny Wood <laughs> coming in hot and also has some really good takes. He has some I really love good him. takes on both. I really He's great. Yeah. Um and, you know, he just uh like uh, I there's no words I can I can say to, you know, show my appreciation for Danny Wood. I think <laughs> I know, no, right? seriously like w- seriously without him, I there would be so many more instances of me contemplating if continuing doing, doing the show this, yeah yeah because it's it's not because we get a plethora of of bad comments it's that we basically only get comments from him currently yeah. but you know it's 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 a good sign and i think that you know him being able to i think the mere fact that he would even spend hours upon hours upon hours of his busy day even listening to us at all mm-hmm. means that we're doing something yeah. right or okay or uh, something worth listening to it's mm-hmm. not just like oh these these fools again <laughs> yeah unsub you know yeah right but danny wood we love you and uh it's this was the birth of many more mm-hmm. danny wood segments so <laughs> stay tuned for that all right are we gonna go into wolfpack let's get live? into the show Woo, let's do it all right so we have the intro of all the members <laughs> here <laughs> <laughs> we got roll call, y'all. Roll call. Joey D. In his overalls. And from Brooklyn, New York, on percussion, welcome to the stage, Richie Rodriguez, a special New York guest. Richie Rodriguez, the Conscious Club, original conga player. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Gwen. I love Gwen. Yeah. And she flew across the pond to see this from Wales. Heck yeah. <laughs> Aaron's zone two. Zone twenty percent faster. Boom, 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 boom. I can do it. All right, he's getting active here on the Funk Club podcast. Andy's getting his exercise for the day. <laughs> I, was off, I was off a little bit. Two. two. One, two. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you could tell she sat on a long, long flight. She's been to waiting this whole time for this. <laughs> Oh my god. And this is like one of my favorite songs, so yeah. this is perfect to open the show. <laughs> and we always we, we got Danny Wood's comment. You know, everywhere you see Wolf, you see Danny Wood, which which is what I love. He's just as dedicated as we are. We love him. Wise crack, zodiac, animal spirit, heart that is, put them together, you can hear. This is seriously one of my favorite songs. It's it's a it's a solid solid uh, so solid take for sure. It's one of my top favorites, maybe even my favorite. When the A little gargle. Yeah, I got my Jennifer Hudson on. Yeah. Well, how you use your phlegm for vibrato? You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) You're a goon. I'm so glad they have Richie Rodriguez. Like, oh, the dude thanks. is so good on the Congas. Er, and he didn't have to come too far. Brooklyn, New York. Oh! Dude, he took a train and he was there. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Great. So great. That's and so then cool. um, we have another Wolfpack show uh, clip here, which is pretty nice quality, so I thought I'd include it. Oh, nice. She's pretty close. Oh, uh, this is a uh, Daddy Got a Tesla? Yep. And you'll see Corey and Theo on the ground battling it out here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then um, somebody got the set list, which is pretty cool, um, from the Wolf Show. Mm-hmm. And I put that in. And then we have some Theo appreciation stuff. So this is Theo post stage dive. Um, it was kind of some oh, funny hijinks here. <laughs> the boys <laughs> carried him from his stage dive to the drums. 
security guy going like love this that i can really sing and then huh? this was oh i forgot to blur out his name i'm sorry babe. okay um we have pack member monty here and this is just a theo appreciation post he said holy shit first time seeing volpeck and i was blown away and to all the ga buddies i met throughout the day thank you for sticking around can't believe theo is this close y'all have a good night safe flights trains and rides etc back home so that yeah. was just a theo appreciation so post. cool Mm-hmm. Like, like, and when we were at the Greek and we were so close. Oh my to God. Corey, he was Corey this Wong. close to he was and, this and close. Theo. Theo and was Theo. this close. Theo and Corey Wong. It's literally like you were so close to like larger than life people in our niche. You know what I mean? Where it's like, like it's, it's so, in, it's so cool to be so close. But them. what's really cool about them is like when you're this close to them or just watching them ro- wa- uh, play live in general, it's almost like watching your friends play. Because it's yeah. like we know so much about them and we've seen so much. To me, they don't feel like, oh, they're these big celebrities because, you know, they're not. Like, right. they are in their own right as musicians, yeah. But it's like, it's kind of like watching, like, old friends, like, play music. Like, to me, it doesn't feel that. like, it's not like, oh, there's, like, Slash or there's, there's like, there's, like, a, right. I don't know, Christina I mean, Aguilera. I, you know I, what I mean? I see that. I see that. Because, like, I, I, I guess I feel that way in that, you know, the... Uh, everything we've heard spawned from them. You know what I mean? It's like everything that we love and that we spend so much time diving into and all these things, it's like, it's all from all of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think it's, it's, I'm speaking to more of that. Mm -hmm. Cause like, yeah, I do definitely get the feel like if I ever met Theo or Jack or any of them, um, I, I, there would be a little bit of a fanboy, you know, uh, aspect to it, but I definitely think I would be more inclined to be like, no, this is just like, this is a friend who happens Mm -hmm. to make, incredibly precisely incredible uh, just uh, you know yeah uh, mm-hmm. greatness you know yeah i think the only person i would really probably be nervous or fanboy for would probably be jack just because he he's the hardest one to um mm. talk to because like i've had conversations with with Corey, and so like for me like i wouldn't be worried to like talk to him just because we've talked on social media and then right. like theo commented on on a meme that we posted since last week's show yes. the, so like the meme that is they're pretty accessible for the most part yeah and i think i've either talked to joey or he's like oh yeah yeah oh he he's, has. he's quite vocal yeah he's yeah. quite vocal on social media so yeah um i definitely think yeah like i think jack would definitely be the one I'd be like, you know, you know, in the third story podcast of Jack Stratton, how he how he talks about talking to Purdy for the first time where mm-hmm. he was fanboying yeah, over Purdy. And he literally for 30 <laughs> seconds, like beatboxed a Purdy beat to Purdy. <laughs> you know, the beat where it's just like, and yeah. it's just like, it's like, you need to, you need to, you need to chill out, Jack. You know, <laughs> like, um, I definitely would feel that way. Yeah. I'd be like, dude, Jack, like. Remember that, Jack? Remember that? Remember that? I'd be be like that. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Going into more fun stuff from the show, we have how good the clarinet solo Mm -hmm. was here um, for Back Pocket. Getting that key change, y'all. Okay, yeah. his name is Clarinet, Clarinet, Clarinet. Mark Dover. So the Mark, guy's name is Mark Dover. Mark Dover. He was in the the clarinet um, trio. He was one of three, actually, in this clarinet trio for the end of Back Pocket. Uh, Mark Dover. This is pretty cool because I don't think they've ever done the actual, uh, like, this part live, right? 
I don't know if it was this part, but I do remember Mark Dover playing with them. Oh, cool. Uh, on some random YouTube video that I saw. Hmm. But I don't know. It, it may have been Wolf Adjacent. Right. Or it may have been Wolfpack itself at like like the earlier, earlier shows. Mm. But I definitely do remember seeing him up on stage playing with some Wolf members before. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rare occasion to see that. Yeah. And it's also super cool because like... Isn't clarinet a huge in the klezmer music? Yes, too? as well as jazz, yeah. Right, yeah, and it's it's so cool to the see. The nod, nod right, to mushy. Right, it's, it's Jack's nod, it's Mushy's nod to, you know, klezmer, mm -hmm. and it's super cool to just see that it's done so well. Yeah. You know, I, I marked over. You, you the man, yo. Yeah. Let's collab. Let's get Love him on it. the show. Um, and then we have... Um, People shared uh, Charles playing last night, mm. which is nice. Oh, we got up close and personal. Yeah, this How is one this of the happen? guys. This is one of the guys who recorded before Lerman with the iPhone. Oh, it's the screen. Oh, it's the screen. Never mind. Oh, it's the screen at the show. Oh, Let's this see. is great. Baby, I don't know. I'm gonna be with you. I think Charles is wearing your comfy pants. Uh, <laughs> He's wearing like a... <laughs> a side eye. He's, he's giving Theo a run for his money with his with the uh, sunglasses, sunglasses. With the glasses, with glasses here, yeah. <laughs> Theo with the gimbal. That's another meme. We should yeah. make a meme of that. Yeah. That's another when you realize you're not the front man anymore. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Love that. His hair, though? No. Oh, yeah. Really All dope. the stuff that's been um, drawn into his head is really cool. Yeah. Selfish attitude. Oh. This is like another one of my favorites. <laughs> Theo. Mm. Theo did some stuff before Lerman came. Oh, he did? Oh, he came late? <laughs> I don't know. He just <laughs> came later. Mm. It's like our intros. To the Literally. Show. <laughs> Is that a DiMaggio jersey? What? In the back, hung up. I think like, so. A <laughs> Joe DiMaggio I jersey. Think. I love that. We love Charles Jones so much. We love him. Best life, Jack loves it. <laughs> Best life. <laughs> you. That's How so good. cool. Jack God, loves they're it. They're so good. They're so good. So they good. Too good, man. So we have a little uh, friendly controversy here. Mm, we have somebody it. who um, spotted this woman at the show, and it says Woody's Aunt Leslie, right? Mm. And then 
Oh. Somebody commented, wait, da 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 because she met another woman and it said Jack's Aunt Leslie. So uh, who is the real Aunt Leslie? I don't we that's another podcast. It's another we podcast. Have to figure out, we have to who figure out Aunt, what Aunt Leslie. Leslie came from and whose Aunt Leslie is the song Aunt Leslie about. Right. And if Aunt Leslie Aunt Leslie even exists, which I which I suspect does. Mm-hmm. I suspect Aunt Leslie exists. Yeah, I think so too. We'll figure that out yeah. in a future podcast. Interesting controversy. That's a quite friendly controversy though. Quite I, friendly. I, I, like, yeah. I love that. Okay, so then we have, of course, Cause, Bless the Stage. Um, ah, and oh, and we noticed that uh, Cause tagged the wrong Antoine Stanley. Tagged the, an- tagged the Antoine without a U. Yeah, it's Antoine. Antoine. Antoine Stanley. Antoine Stanley. Um, and then somebody commented on this post, is it Cause Firmed though? Ah, uh, <laughs> Love that. Cause firm. And now we have some smile meditation with cause here. Danny Wood and Danny Wood's son's favorite song. Should I see if I can even keep up? Sure. Let's see if I can keep it up. Just turn the key. His tiny sax. Love Charles just chilling. Oh, I should really practice before. Oh, and I want to note that this is their um, rehearsal. Oh, this is the soundtrack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Because Charles is in a different outfit, Jack's in a different outfit. It's just like Jason Lee Bruns. When he sets up, he's in a different outfit. Yeah. And like Joe's not in black. He's in white. Right. <laughs> Corey Wong is just feeling the Lord. Yeah, literally. Uh, so cute. Fresh, fresh out of church, Corey Wong. There. Fresh out of church, that guy. <laughs> um, and then we have the... Um, some couch appreciation photos here. Mm. It's that uh, somebody says Gage on Wolf Pack. He says, "How much for a ticket to sit on the couch? I want that." <laughs> I wish we could pay for that. And then we have Theo and Woody having a little sit while Joey serenades us. Cute. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's cute. And then we have this really funny picture somebody got. <laughs> Joey of, using uh, the binoculars. Joey. He's Woody watching. Right Woody now. watching. <laughs> that will be a meme coming up shortly from me. Definitely. Um, and then, uh, some true game winners here. We have Abby Dart, oh, her post, and she tagged, uh, Khadija, um, Antoine Stanley's mom and, um, celebrating our boy's debut at Love it. MSG. Love it. Yeah. I think this is a good point to change the battery. We will be yeah. right back. Yeah. I guess since we're on the topic, let's, uh, let's get some great narration from Antoine's mom. See how long is this? Oh, it's a dude. She filmed for a straight hour. So you don't forget it. Sometimes I write a little song to remember the lyrics. This is your personal. Ah, uh, okay. For Taurus, turn on the box. For Focus, a butterfly got the other way. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> let's cut, let's cut. <laughs> We love Antoine's mom. Cheers for how many people? Oh yeah, she has a lot. Then. Love y'all. Oh, the Pentecostal part. Yeah. We're getting to it. This part's really cute. Antoine, you know what? Look at him. That, that's a Pentecostal child right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Pentecostal child right there. I love her we love so, her so much. much. It's incredible. We we may come back to that in a little bit, but also yeah, go through. But also noted, she works at the the college that my mom is going to right now, and my mom will be graduating with the same degree that she teaches in right now. That her mom Baker. teaches in. 
well, his mom is a teacher at the school that my mom studies at and wow. teaches the subject that my mom's going to be getting a degree in that healthcare administration, Baker that, college, shout out to Baker college. My mom's going to be graduating so cool. in 2020 from Baker and that's where she works. That pretty cool, huh? Small world. Right. So yeah, we love Khadija. Is that Ann Arbor? Um, no, Baker is, uh, I believe near Flint where he's from. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 No wonder. Yeah. So we'll be getting back to Antoine's mom in a second, but from first Flint central high school. Yeah. 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 So first we have, before we get back to Antoine, we have, um, some bean eater, um, issues ah. here in the pack. Uh, pack member Sean said, could whoever is repeatedly fart blasting the pit around the center ice, please <laughs> kindly find a restroom during intermission. This needs to stop. <laughs> And then me over there. And, and then Connor says, it's probably Jack. And ah! another member says, MSG is full of bean eaters. And then Andy says, bean town. Oh boy. Yeah. Bean town population. Many. <laughs> <laughs> and this leads to a uh, Dean town. All aboard. Gwen. Gwen was close, man. Gwen was super close. I mean, yeah. if you're coming from that far, you might as well spend the money on yeah. close tickets. Yeah. You ain't getting nosebleeds if you're coming from Wales, y'all. Yeah. God, that's so cool. So great. He's living his best life. I love Lerman. <laughs> Joe living his best life. Incredible. Completely incredible. Oh no. It's the you can't power. Charge. That's okay. okay. Well well we'll round um, it out. We got um we got eight percent left on the computer here. So uh and then we're almost hitting an hour thirty, so we can we sweet. can round it out. So sweet. yeah. Yeah. So um I want to 
hit a few things before we go. Right. Um, there was some people, there were some things that people wish they had time to play. So we uh, have Wolfpack member Victoria, not me, a different one. She says Wolf fam. Uh, and then she was asking about an after party, but she saw also, she's also said rip no game winner. And then uh, somebody said Darwin Derby was absolutely disrespected. I mean, I think when you're playing a show like that, some songs have to take a back seat. Yeah, and then you know? Ethan said, rip, no wedding set. And we that, were waiting. That, that was, uh, I seriously think, like, you know, I, I don't want to just be the guy who's calling out covers here left and right, but, mm-hmm. like, I would rather have replaced IGF and Birds of a Feather with with September, because mm-hmm. it's September, yeah. and... and um, and the other one. I want. Uh, I want you back. I want you back. I want you back? Yeah. yeah. Or some sort of Jackson Five yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of thing, you know? Because totally. um, I think that's that's another signature part of Wolf, where mm-hmm. it's like they're not a cover band; they just cover songs that mean something to people, yeah. which is super cool. Um, but definitely. Some things have to take a back seat when you're doing such a big show like that. So I totally mm-hmm. understand. Like there may have been stuff that just needed to uh, take a back seat. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, it was uh, some of the parts that we hold dear to us. But I'd re- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Move on. So um, I guess we'll round it out with just some final clips here from the show. Cool. Uh, okay, this is where I can come in. Do we have a funky duck clip? Yes, we do. Absolutely, we do. Funky duck. Because that's really the only song I could play. That's really. (laughs) I think we have it, Anton, here. Oh no, we have to the groove. Yeah, we have that, and then maybe it's this. Oh, we have singing. <laughs> no, that's okay. We don't have to have fun. Uh, funky duck. Yeah, I don't. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. Oh, go, go back to Beastly Dean how, Town. How about this, we'll we'll go back to the set list. Okay. And then see what song it is, and then we'll go to Cor- uh, Antoine's mom mm-hmm. and try to pop it in. Let's see, so Funky Duck is 16, like in 12. the middle. Okay. So we'll go to Antoine's mom, right? See, you know, uh, what what wouldn't be this podcast if we didn't hit a rock here or there? And let's uh, let's see if we can find it. There we go. There it is. No, that's Beasley. Shit. It was Beasley before or after? I had a feeling. Oh my gosh. How many people took a train to be here? Man. Beasley was way after. Okay. So it should be at the very beginning, took- after 1612. Ah, here we go. It's there okay. it is. Oh, Shit. damn. We might have lost. We might have lost it. Oh, uh, the screen recording? Screen recording. <laughs> All right. All right well. Indy contemplating his entire life. When your battery says it has 9% left. And then it just dies. God damn it. Oh boy. Well, we had we definitely hit the rocks there. Sorry guys. Well, you know, that that rounds out the show. <laughs> hey, hopefully we have our screen recording and Hopefully, I hope so. At least hope. we have the audio and um all that. Yeah. But so, uh, you know, sometimes, anyways, sometimes hitting the rocks here, but uh things happen and uh whatever. You'll see. Yeah, you've been uh you've been uh, watching the Conscious Club podcast and we appreciate you for watching and uh we will try better next time. <laughs> So, have a good one. Bye. We'll round it up for you. Hey, everybody. Indy here, and thanks for watching the Conscious Club podcast. Please be advised that this is a fan-made podcast. Even though we would love nothing more, we are not associated with Wolfpack, Wolf Records, LLC, Wolf Productions, Inc., or any associated acts tied to the greater Wolf umbrella. 
We do this show out of love, not for monetary gain. We simply wanted an outlet like this to exist. So we made it happen, and I hope that's okay. Thanks for watching, and always remember, fee fi fo fum.